So this one was a female. And this is the row. It's got two chunks there. Back in uh, a while back, I was in Africa in the lower part of Ethiopia out in the, the sticks. And uh, I had just gotten over a bout of malaria. Uh, I was down for about four or five days and hadn't eaten anything. Just couldn't do it. Didn't want to look at it. And they really didn't have much out there anyways. Just meat and juice. And then... Uh, once I got over that, my body recovered and it started craving foods really bad. Um, a uh, village lady ended up gifting me a banana, so I chomped that down and that was all good and dandy. But then that night, I couldn't sleep because my body was just craving food so much I couldn't stop. So I went back out, found that uh, banana peel that I threw in the garbage and ate that. Then uh, went through and sucked down the uh, toothpaste that I had because <laughs> there's got to do what you got to do so this is the row there uh, let's go fishing South Florida did a little test on these as well because his he had the female and he fried it up and wanted to see what it tastes like but you know every once in a while you just got to kind of man up Hey, yeah, it tastes kind of like the toothpaste was, except not so minty. It's just like eating fat with skin. Mush, about it. And skin. Ah, that's pretty much all it is. Not a lot of taste to it. A little tiny bit of oily fish taste, but there you go. That's what the uh, row tastes like. We're starting off with a rack of baby back ribs. Um, I've already gone through, pulled off the silver skin, and then cut it to make it a little bit more manageable for me. But those ribs are ready to go. For the ribs, we're going to do kind of a dry brine, dry rub. Uh, the base is going to be brown sugar. Then we've got some garlic powder, black pepper, kosher salt, onion powder, uh, chili powder, and then paprika for a little bit of color. I'm just going to throw it into this plastic to mix it all up. So we're going to take our dry rub and then just kind of give them a nice coating and rub them in there. We want full coverage. The rib side, the back side is not so important, but we definitely want to make sure we get a nice crust going on the meat side here. Make sure that gets pushed down in there. Okay, I'll flip these guys over. Here it's not such an important deal, so just a light sprinkling will be fine for these guys. Uh, we want to make sure we hit the ends really well. Just to make sure we have a nice coating there. Okay, and then this is just going to go in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover it up, put it in the refrigerator, and just sit, let it sit for a couple hours while we go out and catch a mangrove snapper. I'm over here at my bait shop picking up some pinfish. 
Uh, I'm actually using my five foot net today. As you can see the weeds are getting uh, a bit taller and there's a lot more of that gunky moss algae on them because the water is so warm. So when I throw my seven foot net, it's actually worse because it gets so gummed up. Whereas this five, it can clear it pretty quickly. The other thing is, is that the, the pinfish are laying out a little bit farther. And with the water being up at high tide, it's hard for me to get out and then still have enough uh, depth so I could throw the net. So this uh, five foot I could whip out very far and then uh, even if the water's deep, so. Well, I took a lot of throws, but I got my dozen. So that should be enough to get one 12, 11 or 12 inch snapper. Okay, I'm over here at the end of the NAS. Got the tarpon 140. I took out the milk crate because I really don't use it. Unfortunately, that was the problem I was talking about. I only have two rod holders. So I might have to just kind of make up something that'll just sit across there and then that'll be good. I never use the milk crate for anything. I just threw stuff in the back, so. Otherwise, we're gonna launch here and uh, target is a 11 to 12 inch mangrove snapper. The other thing that we're gonna be doing is checking on that uh, leak that I just repaired. I haven't heard any tinkling yet, so I think we're okay. This is on my biggest pinfish. That looks like the one we wanted. Hey, <laughs> we got our perfect one. All right, let's go make some fish ribs. All right, we're back, all cleaned up. So I got the uh, smoker getting fired up there. Got the wood chips uh, soaking now. So gonna give it a bit to burn down and then throw them ribs on the smoker. All right, we are three hours in. That took me to uh, go out, catch bait, unload the kayak, paddle out, catch a fish, come back, load the kayak, and drive on home, take a shower, and get all cleaned up. But that is three hours in the refrigerator, letting those uh, spices soak in there. So as soon as that uh, smoker briquettes are all uh, burned down a bit, then I'm going to throw this on the rack and go from there. All right, let's put these guys on the smoker. I'm going to do roughly around two hours and uh, two boxes of uh, smoke chips. Alright, this part is done. Give it a nice little poke. Ooh, a little bit juicy there. Alright, let's go do the part two. Alright, let's foil wrap this.
And we're just gonna pour a little bit of apple juice to help tenderize it by steaming. And then close it up. We've got the barbecue set on very low heat. And we could drop our packs on there. And we're just gonna let them slowly steam up there, so probably another hour. And that's what's gonna get them tender. All right, our snapper comes out measured out to 14 and a half inches. So a little bigger than I wanted. Just looking for like 11 or 12 to make it fit right. But that's what happens when you use the live pinfish, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this guy up. I'm gonna do um, a whole fish. So I'm just going to scale it and gut it and then go from there. I'm just gonna go some basic Everglades heat on this one. I'm actually going to decide that I'm gonna go ahead and fry it so I don't have to do anything else to it. Just season it up. Open it up so it gets it in there. Yeah, it's ready to go. All right, these have been going for about an hour. Okay, and that with the uh, juices and this foil pack is basically steaming them and making them very tender. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out, uh, just put them on the rack by themselves. One of them I'm going to put barbecue sauce on and the other one I'm just going to leave plain because it's excellent just by itself how it's done. And then we'll do the final cook through. Okay, so we can just go through here and rip this open. See all those juices in there. Ooh, smells incredible. Incredible. I like those juices. Um, I think I'm gonna sauce this one and I'm gonna leave this one plain so I'm not even gonna take it out of the foil pack. Just put it up there to stay warm. And this one, we're gonna put some sauce on it. For the sauce, I'm just using some basic craft uh, spice, spicy honey. Lather that on there. And we're just going to let that heat up a bit and that's done. I think the ribs are done. Drop this guy in there. Bam! Fish ribs. All right, what we got with our fish ribs, the ribs part of it, 
This one is just a dry rub smoked and then I basically foil wrapped it and kind of steamed it in apple juice just to tenderize it and that was it. Uh, it's basically fall apart all you want there nice and juicy. So it's it is done to perfection. And these will basically just falls right apart. So definitely nice and tender. This one was basically the same process, except instead of the uh, leaving it, I went ahead and just topped it off with some uh, honey spicy uh, barbecue sauce. And once again, We are, oh, wrong side to fall on. But once again, we're basically nice and flaky and juicy. So let me cut up a couple chunks, add it to our fish, and take a look at our fish ribs. And there you go, that's our fish ribs plate. No room for vegetables or coleslaw or rice or anything like that. So we're just going to go with the protein diet today. <laughs> Pork and fish. So anyways, that is it. So that was a pretty fun day. I mean, uh, very successful. Got my uh, quick mango, mango snapper out there. Well, actually I caught bait, which is a big plus. Then was able to get a overly sized mangrove than I was expecting. So that's a good thing too. And I got these beautiful, beautiful uh, baby back ribs. So, hmm, what are we going to try first? Let me, before I get all greased up and pick that, I'm going to go for the, uh, some nice chunks of fish here. And we're just going to go, uh, finger foods. Nice juicy chunks out of there. Mmm. Mmm. That's the other good thing. I mean, those cuts, those um, lateral slices, they not only are meant to uh, help cook more evenly, as well as get spices down into the flesh, but it makes it so much easier to eat. You could just roll it right off the bones. Mm. All right, let's get our pig fat on. Let's just do the dry rub. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like bone, be gone. Hmm. So oh, good. So juicy. Man. But actually Complements the fish really well. I mean the fried fish with a little bit of saltiness And then you've got the pork the fatty Plus I went more towards a sweet uh, toppings and then with the apple juice And it's just so juicy I hate to say it but I'm going to take these over the uh, ribeyes. Hmm. Then I'm going to cleanse my palate with a big old chunk of snapper. Lovely, lovely white meat. Well, with the Everglades heat on this one, so it's got a little bit of ting to it, plus a little bit of saltiness. Actually, really good with the fish, the uh, the ribs. So now we're gonna try it with the barbecue sauce. More of a summertime special. Oops, falling apart. Mm. 
Man. That is so good. Mm. Can't stop eating it. Man, I don't know, I can't tell them which one's better. But the fish actually is a good palate cleanser between the uh, sweet uh, ribs, the fatty and the sweetness. Having that nice clean taste. Mm. This one is a winner. Wow. So, hope you enjoyed that. A true catch and cook I haven't done in a while, all in one day. <coughs> Start to finish. So, hope you liked the recipe. Hope you liked the finished product. I sure did. So, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye-bye. Oh, more ribs. Mm.